it doesn't matter. We lost. Uh, yeah, it don't even. It doesn't matter. It's pretty cool. Just like kind of. Uh, I feel like it's kind of similar to the one stat I guess I broke or something after the Oakland game. Uh, I probably will appreciate it more after the season's over. But right now, I'm trying to just live in the present and just focus on this team and and uh, helping us play our best basketball come March and uh, so we can make a run and hopefully God willing get to the NCAA tournament. Uh, I wanted to shoot three. I wanted to shoot three because uh, last year was a similar play, Ball State and. Uh, I got whacked. They didn't call it. I should have known they wasn't gonna call any contact. Again, just uh, just cause like you know that's just uh, play through it. And then um, so I wanted to shoot the three, but um, what was it? Sanford. He was kind of crowding me, so I really had no choice. Possibly could have stepped back, but um, it was all going too fast. But originally I wanted to shoot the three. He was crowding me. I tried to get to the rim. I got to finish. Uh, just get better. Just get better, like you said. Uh, it hasn't happened yet, so uh, we're probably not familiar. You know, it's, it's probably kind of uh, we probably don't, wouldn't we don't really know what to expect with with uh, with that because it hasn't happened yet. But uh, we just all have to get better. We have to get better. Um, I'm if Josh is hot, I'm gonna pass him the ball. If Reggie's same with Reggie, and uh, I know they'll do the same for me. So uh, yeah, it's just about getting better each and every day. We messed up on the scouting report a few times, and it cost us. In a four-point game, really a two-point game, uh, it cost us. We gave up. Uh, I helped off of uh, Marion Jackson, and he had five. He was five for ten. He had five threes, and uh, I'm pretty sure, if I can remember correctly, a couple of them were on me. So, uh, yeah, I, we didn't, we just didn't do enough to win. Um, yeah, tough one to take. Uh, you know, hard fought and went back and forth. And, and um, you know, it reminded me a lot of our Kent game, uh, you know, a week and a half ago or so. Um, kids battled back, actually took a lead there. And, and um, you know, every time, uh, you know, the, balls, the ball game seemed to get right there, they, Toledo hit a big shot or got to the free throw line and, and, and had the answer for us, you know. And so, um, like I said, tough one to take. Um, they were right there. Um, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, I mean, Thomas is. Thomas was. Uh, I mean, Thomas was Thomas. It was great to have him back. You know, he he had a. I mean, I'm sure everybody's going to remember, and I know Thomas will the layup that he missed at the end. You know, and and um, but we would have never been in that situation had Thomas not had the night that he had. You know, and and so um, it was it was. You know, I'm hoping that this serves us well moving forward. You know that um, that uh, that he can that, that he can get back. I think this could alleviate pressure everywhere else. You know, and uh, when the ball starts going through the hole a little bit more from us or for us from our best player, you know, it, it really helps. You know, because now our now the opponent's defense has to pay a little more attention to him. And um, you know, for a while there, uh, including tonight, uh, you know, they were. It was kind of equal. I mean, the, we'd, we'd got to the point where our opponents were playing everybody straight up. You know, they didn't have to, uh, they weren't worrying about Thomas as much as, as they had in the past. And so hopefully now, um, you know, we can, um, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see where it goes from here. But it was, uh, it was, it was terrific effort by T Dub and, and our guys, I, it, you know, we lost the ball game, but it wasn't for lack of playing hard. The guys really, really played their tails off. And, uh, you know, we made some mistakes. There's no question about that. Um, but um, it wasn't for lack of playing hard. Yeah, I mean, we just, I mean, the, the, our guys didn't get rattled, you know, and, and uh, we did. Um, you know, we, we showed a lot of fight. We had some big defensive stops um, during that time. And, and um, you know, what, what hurt us in the first half hurt us again in the second half at during that stretch and that was helping off of the wrong guys you know there was no need for us to over help um, we, we were game plan going in was to allow them um, you know their share of twos and to try and take away a little bit more of the three-point line and especially Marianne Jackson I mean Marianne has hit he had coming into this game in six games, he had had three shots inside the three-point line, or he had had three shots inside the three-point line in six games, 
and um, we went to Dan. We hit five threes tonight, you know, and we we were one of them was highly contested, but uh, the other ones he had too way too good of a look at. He actually missed. Uh, actually missed somewhere. He had a really good luck at it too. We we made some real defensive miscues there um, that uh, uh, that ended up costing us. Ultimately, that was what cost us. Well, it's I mean the biggest thing about Thomas is 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 it's not him as a player. You know, I mean he's a terrific player. You know, and the people in the stands or people watching on TV. Um, you know, they see him out there in the uniform and uh, playing around and all of our guys. You know, you look at sports, uh, you know, and you just see the toy soldiers running around out there on the field, you know, or the court. And um, um, but if you if you had the chance to spend any time with Thomas off the court, um, you walk away wanting to be a better person. He's that kind of kid. You know where you where you spend time with them, and you just your life just got a little bump uh, in energy because you've spent some time with Thomas. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna walk away feeling better about things. Um, that's his most endearing quality. You know it's not it's not what he does out here on a basketball court. We're a lot. I mean, all of us will be a lot better for uh, and remembering his play. Um, you know, I think he just passed the guy that's going to be here Saturday, Manny Newsom. You know, and and um, and that's going to be, you know, I'm I'm sure Thomas will really look forward to to a meeting him. You know, that's the kind of guy Thomas is. He loves history, you know, and especially his Western history. You know, so um, uh, he's 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 a heck of a player, but he's a much better person. You talking about Thomas? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, he's he had to find himself. Players go through slumps. You know, they they, they do. You know, and and uh, you know, you see it all the time at the NBA level. These guys are pros. You know, they go through slumps, and and um, uh, you know, when it happens in an NBA season, it's not it's not a uh, you know, it's not as big of a deal. You're playing 82 games. You know, and and when you're and they all, you know, they, there's, you know, it's all. At the end of it all, you take a look at it, but, um, you know, at the, in the college level, when you're, you know, there's a non-conference part of the schedule, you know, and you, you can play well, but when you get into 18 conference games, your your season is 18 games, you know, and uh, it's not 82. And so if the slump comes in the middle of the 18, you know, then it becomes more pronounced, you know, and Thomas was really putting a lot of pressure on himself uh, during uh, during this time. And uh, and I think because of that, um, he was pressing. The rest of our guys were pressing because they had to now start making some plays that they're not used to making or trying to make or, or, or um, effective at, at, at making. And... And so, uh, you know, Thomas, yeah, well, I mean, I talked about it the last game uh, that we played here against Buffalo. We went out to lunch, um, talked about everything. Thomas has been really good, uh, you know, and in practice, the shot's been starting to drop for him. And, and um, you know, he's, he's coming back. He was coming back, played really well tonight.